I've been asked more than once, how can I take a collection of tactical positions and their solutions and test myself on them inside of Chessbase? Not, let's say, one of those training questions that are created by the Fritz software, which are fine, but a database or a file of my own collection of positions that I can test myself on. Well, there is a solution for that, and a brilliant one inside of Chessbase 17, and I'm here to show you how to use it. I recently bought the Encyclopedia of Chess Combinations by the Chess Informant, a beautiful hardcover book, but that also comes in a PGN file that you can run inside of software such as Chessbase 17. The problem is that there's no obvious way to test yourself on this unless you actually know how. If I were to read this just as a database, for example, let's double click on it, this is the file. As you can see, I open it up here and I'm given the positions and I'm given the solution. But I don't want to see the solution. That's a spoiler. What's the point? I want to be able to test myself on them. And if I open it up, there's really nothing going for it. But there is. So let's open up the first solution here. And it's done in chronological order because the Chess Informant is a series of books that came out every six months um, as of 1966. So here we have, let's say, Carl versus Illy. Let's double click on it. And here, of course, you can see that it has the position and the solution, but how do we train ourselves on this? Well, let's imagine that I didn't know the solution here, and I'm going to go up here at the top, and you can see I have a tab that says Notation, Reference, Replay Training. And that, my friend, is the secret sauce that you want to be able to test yourself. It's a brilliant tool that's been added very recently into the software, and it really does wonders. So I click on it here, and you can see that at the very top, I'm given um, some checkboxes that say play white, play black. It automatically recognizes that because it was black's move to play, that therefore it's black to play to win, or draw, if that might be the case. It also gives you hints. In this case, it says sacrifice something. Sometimes those hints can be a little bit generous, meaning they tell you a little too much. As a rule, personally, I tend to disable hints. You can always ask for the hint by clicking over here on the hint button, and it will give you the hint that it might otherwise have shown you automatically. But I like to try to find things on my own. The rest are left off, and we have enter moves on the board and play through the game. You notice also that it says the position is equal. This is not entirely accurate, but don't worry too much about it. So I'm going to play the first move that comes to my head, and let's make it something spectacular. Let's say queen takes h3. So this is a terrible mistake. What are you doing, you fool? You played queen, g4 takes h3. This is not so good because of knight takes h3. Excellent. The best engine move is 12.6 pawns better. Please try again. OK, so we got a score here of 0 out of 6. Fine. So we'll play instead. Rook takes h3. Nope, nope, you got it wrong. You played rook takes h3. This is, again, not so good because of rook takes h3. The best engine move is still 2.9 pawns better. Please try again. OK, so let's finally try the correct move. And to be honest, I had already seen it when we saw the solution earlier on. This is just to show you what happens. So queen takes f3, knight takes. You played the curl move. And it says the curl move because that's the name given to the uh, black pieces here. It doesn't know any better, and it's not going to say just black, so it'll tell you this is the move by Carl. If it was Capablanca, it would say the Capablanca move. Your move is clearly best. And it shows us here the computer evaluation, 0.47, the game move, the engine move, and my total score. Fine. So continue, rook here. Now we're starting to get a few points, one point out of 11. Again, we played the correct move. Rook takes f3, the best engine move in the position, six store, and whatever. Excellent. Now I'll just show you how would we go about let's say, trying the next position. Because, okay, we saw the solution in this one, but how would we go about trying to solve it for the next exercise? Well, this is where shortcuts come into play. There is a shortcut in Chessbase. And here you can see I've minimized the ribbon. And if I go up here and I go load next game, F11, that's the shortcut in which I would simply jump to the next game, or in this case, position of that database. So I'll click on F11 on my keyboard, and immediately we're given the next position. Again, we have a position where it's black to play. Uh, black is clearly better. 
And of course, we're asked to try to find the proper solution. So I will play, I have no idea, let's say, queen takes f4. And this is a move in which it says the move is okay. However, and the engine has its own idea as to what the best move was, it says that there was a better move, which would have been e5, e4. So as you can see, there is, let's say, some disagreement on the best move or the best solution here, um, according to the computer and according to the move in the actual database. Here, the computer and the software allows you to test your other moves, moves that might not be included in the solution, to find out how they rate according to the computer and see if your moves are just as good or just as valid. Or finally, for continuations, we're also winning in an alternate version. And that, my friend, is the lesson of the day.